Hello everyone! Today I want to show you the Neoni Colored Pencils that I've ordered right away after watching Harry's review on the Art Gear Guide. I'm very satisfied with the purchase and I will show you why. Just look at this amazing color selection. And look how saturated they are! Such a rich palette. There are different tones, different shades, overall colors are quite complex, not just bright in your face, uh, basic uh, primary colors. You can draw anything with this selection. I made swatches of all of the pencils with a light fastness test in mind. Later I will cut them up and stick on my window. Of course, then I will also post an update on the light fastness of these pencils after, let's say, three to six months. I like to do large swatches without white space in between to see how the colors are working together. There is no grittiness to the pencil, they lay nicely on the paper. If you wish, you can easily layer them one over another. Such a smooth application. Harry was saying that they reminded him of a mixture of Holbein and Polychromos colored pencils. Maybe they are like Holbein, I've never tried them, but they did not remind me of Faber-Castell Polychromos at all. However, what they did remind me of are the Neo Color crayons from Carandash. They are as pigmented as them and also as soft. Here is a little trick for you. Use the graphite pencil to write over the swatches. It works both on the light color and over the dark one. You can just tilt the paper to see the light reflecting from the graphite markings. I love this set for the selection of greys. Especially these two violet greys. This green grey is also awesome. If you are interested, there are also a few metallic colors, like this silver one. And here is the gold pencil. At first I thought that there is also a bronze color, but this one is not metallic, so we have only two. I swatched the pencils in the same order they have arrived. However, I plan to do some swaps. There is one lonely grey that is lost among the yellows. I will definitely swap it with the yellow ochre color. And there is also this turquoise that will be better with the blues. Also the lonely purple among all of the deep Bordeaux colors. I think he better stay with his violet and purple friends. I only wish for a richer variety of browns. I think they are not different enough. I made the swatches on the Fabriano Disegno paper that has a weight of 110 grams per square meter. The paper texture is called Ruvido. It has a nice tooth to it. I'm planning to do a drawing and record it for you on the same paper. If I will have anything else to add, I will comment during the process. I will draw a sunset scene with these beautiful reds and oranges. This is the selection of colors for the setting sun drawing that I will do now. I already sketched with a graphite pencil a fern and now I'll be doing the outline. <laughs> sharpen it quite often but uh, I still like that I can get uh, the fine point. The thing is it doesn't last long. It wears down pretty quickly because the pencil is very very soft. <laughs>
that appear time to time. with filming the process uh, to watch a YouTube video I didn't go that far and today I have uh, a new helper alongside It's a hot summer day, actually still morning. My dogs don't like summer, neither do I. It's so hot in the city. 
I'll film a bit more how I feel in the fern and then I will turn on another YouTube video because it's kind of boring this part boring to do and also boring to film I'm sure it's also boring for you to watch even if I plan to uh, speed up the whole process As you can see I filled up fern with uh, my brown color now I will continue with the dark background. There is still a lot of work to be done. of the stems the light uh, that we get because of the contrajour so I'm adding now I'm constantly rotating the pencil to find the sharp point the point of the pencil gets blunt very fast should have started with the light one, but now it's too late. Shall I work with what we have? I'm more attentive when I'm not filming. Time to do an even darker circle. I will blend later with the reddish brown. I'm not being too precise or too accurate. This drawing is more about the colors than the precision. However, if you are into the detailed work, I don't think these pencils are for you. Too soft they are, but I like them for this feature. Also, if you are into the coloring books, maybe not the best choice of pencil for you. If there are tiny details to color in, it would be quite difficult. <laughs> fill in all the white areas that are left with a black pencil. I think by the end of the drawing uh, at least one quarter of a pencil will be gone. So I arrived to a point where I don't feel my fingers anymore. I decided to add also a layer of blue to make black less flat. It's a lot of work to lay the color densely. It press a lot. But pencils doing amazing, they don't break. They crumble a little, but nothing tragic. Here is the part with blue over the black. Here is just black put lightly on paper. I'll continue the same way. Here you can see how much of the pencils I have used. You can compare the length of them to the green pencil that I've only used for swatching. These are all the shavings and that's the powder that I swept off of the drawing. Don't forget to brush off the powder while you are working on the drawing to avoid smudging the colors. Avoid breathing in this powder and don't allow your pets next to it because we don't know what's inside these pencils actually. And here is the finished drawing. Ta da! I hope this video was useful to you and I helped you decide if you need these pencils or not. Look at my tiny red brown, it's so short! So let's cut up the swatches for the light pastness test. <music> 
first one done. Here are the swatches placed on the south facing window and there is the Italian sun that I think will burn them down to the paper white.